our lives must be treated with urgency because in life there is a cycle Dearly beloved, we're gathered here at this solemn assembly to give thanks to God for the life of our father, brother, husband, uncle, Dr. Ubon Thompson King, and also to commend him to God's eternal love and care. We receive the comforting spirit of God and we declare that it is well with your when soul. When the oceans rise and thunders roll, I will soar with you above the storm. Comfort them. Comfort them. Father, you are Jesus, you are their consolation. This is your opportunity to take over in their lives. We ask you to do that in a way that gives them a consolation prize that is better than having daddy and hubby around. We thank you that you already planned to do that and they have already experienced this. We pray that where a great man took his bow, greatness fell into the ground singularly, but from that fall into the ground, these will become mighty fruit that will bear mighty fruit that will attest that truly fruit does not fall far from the tree. We speak greatness upon you. We declare humility will walk with you. We declare God will never have to resist you because pride will be far from you. But his help is yours. He is your father. Adora Jamo Natara and Sarah. He is your husband. We hear me. As he says, he's father to the fatherless and husband to the widow. You will not feel this plight. You will never be ashamed. And to his brother, what a brother. What a brother. Because you are of the same stock, may God's hand be with you too. And for being there for the family, may God bless you. Dr. Bokin was a lot of things to a lot of people. And somebody we got to know very closely. I got to know him very personally and his family. Um, I had the privilege of not just being his friend before he started his Protection Plus Service Limited, I knew him way before then, and we had the privilege of also being uh, medical advisors to himself and his family. I had some of his children in my hospital, and every time he met me in church after service, he would grab me and hold on tightly to me and say, my father, my father. He was such a wonderful person. Uh, the very first time I met Ubon King was at my brother's court wedding. We talked for a while, not really making a connection, but I observed one major thing about King. He could talk for Africa, especially when it relates to his passion, his dream, and what he calls his mandate from God. Truth is, I can go on and on about Ubon King, but I'm sure everyone here has their own story to tell of King's sincere kindness, the type that just surprises you beyond words. This is for Ubon King, brother, teacher, example king brother Obongo, my mother's son our collective brother brother because you made yourself so leaving us no choice i remember he came to abuja and said oh i'm going to see my mother and i was like oh your mother is around he said yes your mother and I, 
was like, when did this relationship happen? And it's like, well, I just called her and I sent her a goat and now I'm a member of the family. A glaring increase in youth dependency ratio. It's easy to see how failure to absorb, productively employ, and provide opportunities for this growing population might inadvertently metamorphose into an increased risk of social upheaval. But you knew what was coming. So you hunkered down. You rolled up your sleeve. You gathered all of us. And you said, let's do the work. You did it through Thinkation, through the Ubon King Foundation, and everything else you did. You reminded us that our greatest asset was our ability to think. You helped us understand that the solutions to the problems without us lay within us. You fought our complacency. You challenged our inertia. You defied our apathy. You confronted our laziness. You did all this for God, for country, for continent. Ubon King was born August 23rd, 1972. In the Obaniko area of Lagos State, um, to his parents, he was one of he was the first of nine children, and he had fond memory of growing up, especially with his father, who is who he referred to as the God that I could see. But that was short-lived because his dad died when he was 13, and that accelerated him to manhood pretty early. He used to jokingly say that he arrived at, at being a man pretty early. I say a big thank you to everyone who took time out of their day to celebrate the life of a leader, a mentor, my father, a boss, and, and much more. The overwhelming amount of love and support and prayers have been sh that has been shown towards me and my family is much appreciated, and we value every one of you. Like my dad always says, Family are people who are always there for you. And I want to say an, an enormous thank you to everyone again for showing up tonight. It takes love to do that. I pray that God will bless each and every one of you. And whatever every one of you puts your hands to shall prosper. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your evening. God of creation, you were there at the start before the beginning of time. That the vision he has handed over to the next generation will grow far beyond his own imagination and his own dreams in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that Father, not one business, not one vehicle, not one platform will die or go down the go down with him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rather, we declare that all the giants you have raised through his hands and the many more that are coming after him will take over and take you to a new dimension in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We bless the works of his hands and we declare you will increase and by the power of God you will grow exponentially in Jesus mighty name we pray. And with authority we declare that he has not labored for another lineage to take benefits amongst his household will rise those with the wisdom and the wherewithal to walk in their father's vein as Elisha walked with Elijah as Solomon walked in the vein of David as David walks in the vein of his father David Oedebo may God give you wisdom the wherewithal to walk in your father's vein and I say to the house these are your children and Uyeme is your responsibility and Uyeme we are your family that's who we are and we are many God bless you
Greetings. This is my tribute to the late and great Dr. Obong King. I am Wendell Delandro, High Commissioner of Trinidad and Tobago to Nigeria. To his lovely wife Ivy, his beautiful children, and other members of his family, I extend my deepest condolences. I first met Obong in Lagos in 2018 and we became very good friends. He was like my younger brother. My king, as I fondly call him, was benevolent and magnanimous. Um, to honor Ubon, um, Ubon was a great man, very inspirational, very motivated. He was a pusher and a mover and as he always said, he's a troublemaker. I want to thank God for the life and times of Dr. Bon King. And um, I'm glad that God gave him to us as a gift and that legacy will endure. When I met Dr. Bon King, one of the striking things that drew me to him was his ability to connect and to forge new relationships. A good friend of Bon King, uh, a man who has distinguished himself. Uh, Obon King and I have known uh, each other for a little over 10 years and I've watched how Obon King has turned nothing to something and he has built a brand with a determination that that brand shouldn't be limited to Obon King and Obon King family. He's taking the brand beyond uh, the shores of Nigeria. This is, I, I want to start by first confessing that this is probably the most difficult um, speech or talk that I will ever do in the longest time. Um, we, are, we are here celebrating a friend, um, a brother, a mentor, a father, an uncle, um, his Ubon King is, is many things to many people. I got a call from Canada yesterday. A young man called me and, um, and he said, Ubon King always, always talked about you. He talked about values that you deposited in him. And it used to make me wonder why a man like that that I that I that I liked so much and that was a mentor to me would also say that somebody else um, he got stuff from somebody else um, that touched me. He said Ubong had called him and his family and uh, for some reason, like two weeks before he passed, um, and he talked about me a lot as if he was trying to hand the young man over to me. started off. And this is what he gave them. And he was a man who was always searching for knowledge, you know, searching for knowledge to make himself better so that he can give more. He was a loving father, that one not to be disputed, a loving husband. He poured himself into Ivy. How did we know that he was going to go and leave so much responsibility for her? But then, God is going to uplift them. In fact, he's uplifting them. The children are already exhibiting, you know, values and morals that will take them far. And together, let's celebrate the life and times of your brother, my brother, Ubong Thompson King, the great Ubong King. And I don't know whether you noticed, I didn't say the late Ubong King. I said the great Ubong King. For we have been able to find out that there is a difference between living and breathing. We've been able to understand over time
that yes, whilst lifetime really is a word that describes itself, for time is given to you to be able to accomplish the purpose of your living or your life, that your life existed before time and your life will continue to exist way beyond time. That life is the process of receiving a purpose, of living out your purpose, of fulfilling your purpose, of delivering on your purpose. That's what living is. Living is the process of becoming the best version of of yourself. And we know for sure that Ubong has joined the, the hosts of the greats, such as Dr. Miles Monroe, Dale Carnegie, and several others, Henry Ford. I can continue to go. People who have continued to touch lives every day with their words, their deeds, their products, and all of their life service, even beyond their breathing exercise. Let's be clear. There are people who are breathing today and yet Jesus described them in the Holy Scriptures as dead. He actually said, let the dead go and bury the dead. We're so grateful that you have once again made time out to be with us at this commendation service for our brother, husband, son, friend, colleague, co-laborer in the vineyard and in the house of the Lord, motivational speaker, um, entrepreneur par excellence, none other than Mr. Ubong Thompson King. This solemn service is to commend him to God's loving care to pray for those who mourn and to wish him farewell.